All right, ladies and gentlemen, I know that this is extremely late, and I would apologize, but it's totally not our fault. This is entirely to blame on New Japan World. They still do not have G1 Climax 2015 Day 5 up in its entirety, but what they do have is each match individually uploaded. So what we are going to do is, rather than recording two chunks of hour and 15 to hour and 45 minute recordings where we do the first half before the intermission and the second half we're just going to do a recording for every match and hopefully that helps you guys out i will set this all up in a playlist but we are going to be timing it based on timestamps on new japan world so right now i have g1 climax 2015 uh, day five part one it's the first match it's the big i believe eight man tag it might be six but i'm pretty sure it's eight uh, involving Jushin Thunder Liger and friggin' Taguchi. Uh, and we have this at, uh, our timestamp is 3.05. That's three minutes and five seconds. The camera is focused on Liger, and he is got his, he's got his hands on the middle ropes, ready to, it looks like, spring out of the corner uh, and, and charge after his opponent. So hopefully that helps you guys with the sync, and we will be hitting the play button on go. Ready, set, go. And the bell just rang. And Liger looking fired up, pointing to the crowd. I mean, he feeds off the energy of these fans. Uh, really excited that we're finally getting to do G1 Climax Day 5, guys. It's going to be awesome. And Jushin Thunder Liger, man. I really can't tell his expression, obviously, with that mask, but I'm guessing it's one of intensity. He is so focused. And now uh, Dorada there off the ropes. Look at that nice hands bring there. Whoa, the athleticism. Ducks the clothesline of Liger. There's a kick to the gut. And Dorada now in control for the moment. Gets Irish up in the corner. And oh my god, that agility. Catches the right of Liger. And what an insiguri there. He's going to go to the top rope. Let's oh, he's here. walking the rope. And wow. a nice missile drop kick onto Liger. Yeah, yeah beautiful drop kick by Dorada. Oh, but he's going off the ropes. We're going to get a suicide dive here. And beautiful. And he connected. Yeah, he connected. He got all of it. Man, I don't think Liger was anticipating that. He should have, though. This isn't the first time he's climbed in the ring with uh, Dorada during the duration of this whole, you know, event. I mean, we're in day five now. I feel like they've gotten in there, you know, three times prior, in my estimation. I know I know it's been quite a few times, whether it's partners or opponents. And now oh, Liger, beautiful tilt-to-world backbreaker from Liger. That form was excellent. Now, I think he's going to go into the surfboard here. He is. And Dorada, I don't think he's going to be able to oh, resist. Oh, but Taguchi. And, to, and, of course... Of course, using the rear. And Liger even looks a bit traumatized. Like, what the heck was that? And he tags in Tiger Mask. And now Tiger Mask, of course, a uh, wrestling legend, especially here in Japan. And now he is going to lock it up with Taguchi. And, and Taguchi I'm, for his... I'm relentlessly cheering for Tiger Mask in this situation. Oh, you and me both. I mean, however, we cannot look past Taguchi as much as we'd like to. I mean, the man is a former IWGP junior heavyweight champion. And there's the rear off the rope. And yes, that was a sincerely called maneuver. Taguchi makes me hate my job. <laughs> and now Taguchi hanging on the ropes there. I just, you know, it's one thing to use your rear for maybe one move or two. It seems like Taguchi, every move. Every move involves it. And here comes David Finley. And here Ryan. comes Yohei Komatsu. This is going to be interesting. The clash of the young boys. Yohei Komatsu, you and I have been so impressed with throughout the G1 Climax. And David Finley, I mean, the son of Fit Finley, definitely seems to be doing his father proud. Definitely has the ability to back it up. Oh, man, look at these wrist lock exchanges. Yeah, Absolutely. And uh, I, I think it's worth noting that both of these guys, I, I just based on what we've seen from them, their in-ring work, that kind of stuff, I do feel like they're both kind of a notch above Jay White. Absolutely. I would completely agree with you. I, I think uh, both David Finley and Yohei Komatsu, their work is crisp. They're fluid. I mean, Yohei Komatsu has got the speed. David Finley, I think he could be quite a technician. And what a hurricane runner there by Yohei Komatsu. And another Komatsu. Nice drop kick. Beautiful drop kick by Komatsu. David Finley tries uh, to find refuge in the corner. I don't think he's going to get it. Komatsu charges, but he gets met with a back elbow there by David Finley. David oh, no, Finley there with a drop the kick off the top rope. Yeah. Beautiful. And he goes right into the cover. Man, the sense of urgency from David Finley is so apparent. And, and that's another thing, too. Like, I don't feel like Jay White is necessarily worse in the ring. I just feel like he doesn't have quite as much uh, charisma, intensity, 
fire, just kind of overall, just the the packaging of Komatsu and Finlay has been better to me. I'd say they're probably all around the same level as far as in-ring goes, though. Absolutely, and Taguchi, again, I, I don't think I've ever cheered harder for a young boy in my life, and Taguchi there with the rear repeatedly in the face of uh, Yohei Komatsu. Into the cover here, hooks the lay, and Liger, Liger does break up the pin attempt. Yeah, the and, amount yeah. of the amount of ass slams that we're getting from Taguchi is fairly obnoxious. Yeah, it's just it's like I I don't want to be overly critical on the guy. Just it's so hard to get into his offense. But here is a man I can get into. Hanma just got the tag, and and what a performance he had against Okada, the IWGP Heavyweight Champion. You know, uh, it's you know, so that, funny, John, because I actually went back and listened to our commentary for that match, and early on, maybe even before the match started, I said. We know Okada's winning this, but Tomoaki Hanma is going to find a way to drag me in, get me invested, and force me to believe that he can win. And by the end of the match, I was losing my mind hoping for him to win. And Yohei Komatsu was able to avoid the Kakeshi headbutt from Hanma. Hanma, though, able to pick the leg, I think, stop Komatsu from making the tag. Now he's going to continue the offensive. Nice. Just an open hand chop. Absolutely. Now he's going to shoot Komatsu off the ropes. Now Komatsu, nice duck there. And again, that speed. And what a forearm there, creating the, the distance of separation necessary to potentially get a tag. You see and Komatsu. It, oh, in comes Haruki Goto. This is your intercontinental champion, folks. Oh, man. If I'm not mistaken, Goto and Hanma have a match coming up. So this is quite appropriate. Yeah, as a matter of fact, they do. Coming up on the 28th. So that would be Tuesday. Yeah, oh, what a spinning heel kick in the corner. And I'll tell you what, Goto must be fired up after that heartbreaking loss to Carl Anderson at day four. And now, oh, ducks the cold line there of Hanma. Hanma going for the sleeper. Goto slides out. What a suplex there to Hanma. Oh, Goto and only slang. a two count. Man, Hanma's so resilient. We really learned that about him and his match against Okada. And now, now Goto going to try and stay on him. He's got the waist lock. Hanma fights out of it with the elbows. Hanma now charges against the ropes. What a clothesline there. Hanma going up against the ropes again. Another clothesline. They stalemated that time, though. Goto is ready this time, but Hanma takes him off his feet. Man, that's a, it should have been a stalemate, but again, Hanma with the event. Oh, and he hits the headbutt. He hit the Kakeshi headbutt. That headbutt can make all the difference in the world there. And in comes Dave Finley. Absolutely. Dave Finley coming in. Let's see if he can light this ring up. Do his father proud. I think it would be appropriate to classify David Finley as second generation. And, oh, man, he is so focused. He's in there with the Intercontinental Champion. That is a huge deal. I don't know why David Finley is posing after every offense maneuver. I advise against that. And he just got his head absolutely taken off by a lariat by Goto. And Goto gets the tag. In comes Tiger Mask. Absolutely. That goes after Finley in the corner. But Finley ducks and gets out of the way, and then he hits a European uppercut. Finley has Tiger Mask up in a fireman's carry. Steamroller, steamroller. beautiful. There's the steamroller. And now goes off the ropes. Back on the ropes. And then, oh, what an uppercut there. Oh, could David Finley finally get a pinball here? And no, two count from Tiger Mask. Wow. So close, though. So close. I'll tell you what, David Finley, I think, has some kinks to massage out. I didn't like the posturing he was doing earlier when he was in the ring with Goto. But when he is focused... His offense is as legitimate as anybody's. And now oh, Tiger, Tiger Mask wants the Tiger Bomb. He got it. And he Tiger got bomb. it. He got the Tiger Bomb. Hanma's going to break it up, though. Yeah, and Hanma broke it up. Well, actually, everybody everyone. broke it up. Oh, yeah. and this is breaking down already. We have had a breakdown in this eight-man tag here. Tiger Mask still alone with David Finley. Could this be David Finley's moment of glory? Tiger suplex, maybe. Tiger suplex, maybe. No, David Finley checks. It runs. Tiger Mask into the corner. Oh, Again. Tiger Mask into a submission. Oh, my uh, God. That's got to be it. That's got to be it. That's literally the most painful-looking arm submission I think I've ever seen. That's got to be it. David Finley. I can't believe how long David Finley's lasted. And there's Taguchi there. David Taguchi. Finley didn't tap out. Wow. wow. Man, I would have bet the house that David Finley would have tapped out there, but he stayed in it. I can't believe it. And, and now, now Liger. Liger yeah. What a stiff forearm. Good God. Yeah, that open palm strike it looked like from yeah. Liger. And now Tiger Mask has got David Finley set up on the top rope. Going to be a hurricane. Rana, Frankenstein. No! Avalanche top Tiger, Tiger Bomb! bomb. Oh, man. Oh, oh my. Oh! Tiger Double Tiger. underhook suplex. Yeah. Butterfly suplex, One, actually. Two. 
Three count. A super butterfly suplex from the top rope. Unbelievable. Very, very good showing here from David Finley, but he does end up eating a pin in the end. Makes the most sense in the world considering he and Komatsu were the young boys in this match. Absolutely. I mean, I'm amazed by the tenacity of David Finley. He really tried to rally back towards the final few minutes of this match, but I think that arm bar was the beginning of the end because it really just wore him down. But kudos to him for not tapping out. He had to be pinned to be beat, and I hope everybody in that ring recognizes that fact because Kid showed a lot of heart tonight. But Tiger Mask does get the win for his team. Yeah, I really enjoy Finley's work. I'm I'm hoping to see big things from him in the coming years. And now Hanma staring down Goto, the Intercontinental Champion. And guys, uh, it seems like Hanma has a big problem with Goto. I like the intensity here. And guys, it is about more than the Intercontinental Championship, and that is saying a lot as one of uh, New Japan's most prestigious championships. It's about advancing in the G1 Climax to get a chance at the IWGP Heavyweight Champion. I mean, it needs to be about more than the Intercontinental Championship because right now the man with his eyes on that championship is Carl Anderson. Absolutely. I mean, what a performance by Carl Anderson, which Goto is going to look to rebound from tomorrow against Hanma. Can he do it is the question that looms over him. Absolutely. Uh, All right. Um, I think that we're going to cut off the recording here for this match, and we will meet you guys back up for the next match, and I'll let you know what the timestamp is and do a countdown to start.